Hey, hey, come over here. What's up? I gotta tell you something. What do you gotta tell me? No one followed you into the Arby's we're in, right? No, no one. Okay, Arby's has a brand new sandwich they want me to tell you about. What is it? Wait, you, you sound like you're copying my voice a little. If you, I'm with someone for a couple seconds, it just happens. You start copying their voice? Yeah. Well, that makes it very confusing, because commercials are usually designed to be heard from outside of the room, you know, so mm. it's just going to be confusing to know who's talking if you're doing my voice. Well, that's too bad. People should be smarter. Arby's. Meat sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had this happen to you? Help. Help me. Help me. Help me, please. Help. Ow. Ow. Help me. Help me. Ow. Oh. Oh, 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 Well, never again, because now we have the brand new this. Oh, 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 okay, oh, 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 well, oh, well, okay, well, now, well, now I sort of, now I can, now I can kind of see, and that's what you'll see when you buy this for yourself, and you can... Never have to deal with this. Oh, 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 okay. Uh oh, whoa, whoa, oh, hold on. Wait a second. Get out of here. Hold on. Uh oh. Ever again. Tonight on The Corpulent Gentleman. I do not recall <laughs> being at the scene of that accident. And quite frankly, I think it is uh, just an attack on uh, a free speech for corpulent gentlemen. I can't wait to see what allegations are in store for me next time. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Oh, oh, oh no, I've booked all my dates for the same evening. Can I get some order? Can I get a side of order with this law? <laughs> How is a corpulent gentleman such as myself gonna get out of this one? <laughs> Does anybody have a lighter for my three cigars? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I'll be right back. I gotta take a shit. <laughs> hey, hey, listen here. I want you to meet my son. Hey, son, come out here. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I want you to meet. Uh, I want you to meet him. He's uh, looking for a wife. Yeah, I really need a wife. Yeah, so he's five foot two. Mm hmm. Five hundred pounds. Mm hmm. Where's diapers? Mm-hmm. And he's ready to marry. I'm ready to marry right now. Okay. It's been a long time since I've done anything with anyone, and I really want someone. Okay, that's it. See you guys. Bye. Oh, fuck, we forgot to, oh, to wait. contact Is there people. a number? Oh, no. Uh, no. Uh, but we didn't oh, get, uh, no, no, we're good. Okay. Okay. Bye, right, guys. Bye. Coming soon from Galacto Records, the sounds of Guy in a Hole, with hits like this. Help! Help! Somebody help me! Help me! Help! Ah! Including classics like Why Me? <laughs> Why? Why me? At night, coyotes pee on me. God, please! Don't let it turn to night again, the coyotes pee on me at night! It's just coyote piss down here! And who could forget this one? Why are you recording me? Get me out! I'm still in a hole! Hi, I'm speaking on behalf of horny geriatrics everywhere. We're a little upset with the way that uh, Magistrate Clug Nugman is, is trying to deal with us. Uh, he thinks it's a problem that we're all so horny and having sex all the time. And it's not a problem. It's fine. Uh, we don't like being told that what we're doing is wrong. You know, old people, we get horny. It's just part of life. We're not gonna stop having sex. We're not gonna stop being horny. That's all, that's my promise. Who does Clug think he is? But yeah, I've got wrinkly skin and I fuck all the time. I'm allowed! That's fine. So don't elect Clug Nugman. He's just trying to make me stop having sex. It's personal for him. Clug, Clug walked in on me and his daughter having really beautiful and energetic sex. More energetic than you'd expect from someone my age. And he came in and he said, no, 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 this can't be happening to me. Ah, ah. And he went on like that for a while. 
And then next next day he went on the news and he said he's gonna stop the geriatrics from being so horny. Well, guess what, Clug Nugman? We're here, we're horny, and we're old. Get over it, fucker. Hey, it's me, I'm Jimmy Goofster. Welcome to another prank call show with me, the Goofster. Let's, let's get our first prank caller on the line. Ring, 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 ring. Hello? Hi, who is this? It's me, Jim Goofster. I'm the prank caller. Oh, uh, so you're prank calling me? Bingo, buddy, bingo. <laughs> what, 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 is your refrigerator going nuts over there? Is it what? Is your refrigerator going nuts? What do you mean? <laughs> what are you asking me? Is my refrigerator going nuts? What does that mean? Oh, it's just like, is it sparking? Is it, is it falling apart? Is the door off the hinges? No, it's, <laughs> my fridge is fine, man. Okay, whoops. Hanging up now. <laughs> Whoa, all right, click. That was not a good one. Let's try one more silly prank phone call. Here we go. Ring, 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 ring. Hey, who's this? It's me, Jimmy Prankster, the... <laughs> Jimmy Goofster's my name. I got confused because I do so many prank phone calls. I called myself Jimmy Prankster by accident. All right. Um, <laughs> why are you calling me? To do a prank. Okay, that, yeah, that tracks. That tracks. What's, you know, you kind of ruined it by telling me you're going to do a prank. Whoopsies. My bad. Hanging up. Click. Okay, I'm not so good at this. Not having a good time. This is a bad episode. This one's really fucking going down the drain. All right, let's try another freaking silly ass prank call. Prank phone call. Ring, 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 ring. Hey, uh, how you doing? Who is this? It's me. I'm the prank phone call guy from TV, Jimmy Jimmy Goofster. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let, give it to me. I I can take it. I'm ready for like a good prank. Oh, perfect. Good. I got a good one for you. Um, <laughs> uh-oh, it's me, your doctor. You have cancer. Ah, ah. I, what the fuck are you doing, man? That's not a good prank. That's like a fucking, that's a, that's a mean prank. Like, if I fell for that, I would, that would tear me apart, man. I would, I don't want to have cancer. Oh, fuck, dude. You gotta get better at pranks. All right, I'll try my best. Click. Okay, all right, I, I'm really losing confidence in my pranking abilities. Let's do another prank, though. Let's just hope we get this one right. Ring, 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 ring. Nobody's answering. <laughs> oh, fuck, all right. Ch ah, god damn it. Ah, I really thought they would answer the phone, and then we could do another prank, but we're out of time. That was it for the Jim Goofster Show. Uh, King of the pranks. Everyone go fuck yourself. All right, show's over. Stop watching it. Stop watching my prank show. I'm really bad at them, and now it's over. But you, 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 ah, god damn it. All right, one more prank, one more prank. Here we go. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, 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 ring. Oh, hello. Oh, who's this? It's me, um, your dad. Oh, hey, dad. Uh... I love you. I love you too. I love you so much. I'm proud of you. You did a good job at baseball. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, um, you know, I've just been waiting a long time to hear those words from you. You're not really my dad, are you? You don't, you don't sound like my dad. I was playing along for a second, but you don't sound like my dad at all, and I, I'm smart. Oh, God damn it, just fucking, please, I need this. I need this to work, man. I've been doing shit pranks all day, and this one's my last shot. So just say you you're, you you got pranked. Say the goofster got you. Uh, the, okay, dude, Jesus, the, the goofster got me. <laughs> hey, good work. Oh, thank God. All right, click. All right, you all saw that. I had a good prank. I had a really good one. That was one of the best ones I've ever done, actually. So let's go out on the high note. Show's really over now. Don't keep watching. The Goofsters still got it. Thank God. Oh, my God. I I'm going to level with you. If I didn't land that last prank, I was absolutely going to jump in a bathtub with a toaster and just let electricity kill the shit out of me. And thank 
God I didn't fuck it up because now I can live to see another day and do more pranks. See you next week on Jimmy Goofster's Big Fat Prank Show. Mwah! Love you. Goodbye. Hey there, I'm talking to you right there. You want to get high off of other aliens, but you don't have the necessary holes or ports on your body to do so? Don't worry. You come on down to the High On Live store, and we're going to hook you up with one of our brand new hyper bars that you can just shove other living creatures into and drain them of their life force so you can get high. I know what you're thinking. Can I put a human in the brand new hyper bomb? Because the old ones were too small for humans. Guess what? The new ones are big enough for humans. So yes, you can put a human in there and then smoke the human. And that's not all. If you pre-order now, we'll give you a pair of mag boots. Magnetic boots that let you walk on walls. Doesn't that sound neat? If you use them to walk up walls, they'll get you high too. Mag boots, they'll get you high. Hyperbombs, they'll also get you high. So come on down to High on Live. I built a huge town. This town is giant. We got buildings, we got banks, we got more banks. Problem is, we ain't got people. I built a town with no one in it. And now we're offering everybody a complimentary 10 pesos to come and stand around the town to make it look like there's people here. I don't know why I built this town, I just wanted to do it. And now we got an empty town with no goddamn people in it. So come on down to my big old big town and stand around and make it look like there's people here. Cause my dad is disappointed. My dad is so disappointed in me. He saw me build this town and he said, that town's never gonna have people in it. And he was right. There's no people in this town. Please come here and stand around my town so when I wheel my dad in his wheelchair, he would say, oh wow, wait, there actually are people in this town. You didn't waste your life. Please come to my town. Are you tired of your regular taking your pills situation where you have to put all your pills in like a first day through last day kind of container? Well, now there's a new solution. This company that I'm re representing here on this commercial has everything you need. We are pillpeople.com. We do have the internet here. It's pillpeople.com. I, actually, I don't know if I can say that. Maybe pillpeople.com is taken. Oh, it's for sale. For 1000 I'll buy it right now. I'll, bu I'll buy pillpeoplerightnow.com. Here we go. The, 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 the actor, you know, he's good, but he, he, he didn't know that we, w that we actually had to buy this website. I own it. <laughs> Close to 2Gs. I own it, though. Okay, now that we've secured the domain, and we're going to finish up this commercial. <clears throat> Thank you so much. I just want to say that uh, what we do here is we, you know, it's a, it's a device that pops the pills for you. It's for pill people, and it's a pill people popper. If you want to know more information, go to pillpeople.com. All right, I'll see you guys at the bar. Buy me a drink or something. Come on. Go to pillpeople.com to understand all about pill distribution and pill taking information with this new revolutionary pill distribution method at pillpeople.com. Also, I just want to say, my child was kidnapped and I don't know where he is. Here, here's a photo of him. I know I wasn't allowed to do this and that's it. Okay, we'll, we'll just end it there. I just, I'm glad I got to squeeze that in. And of course, this is more about pills and people. Okay, thank you. <sighs> oh, okay. Ah! Oh, they keep, oh, they keep shocking me because... That's what we sell here, our shock rods. And and they made me run a full mile before we, we could start to shoot. Ah! The, oh, okay, so we have the best shock rods, the most powerful, awful shock rods. Ah, that fucking shock you really bad. If you need to shock somebody or shock anyone else or shock yourself, if that's the thing, you, you, you got to just come to us and like, oh, God damn. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, I'm going to, okay. All right, so uh, uh, just go to us and we'll, we'll go fill your shock rod needs. Oh, okay, just, just, just re- Check us out at www.shockcollaralienprotectionoffensivemakingsuretheatpeoplewonthurtyou.com. Oh, if you if you want to have prisoners, oh, no, I mean if you want to have guests who are voluntarily there, that's what you, where you go to that website. Okay, see ya. 
Are you tired of boogers clogging up your nose? Well, don't do it anymore. Get spaghetti in there instead. That's right, spaghetti nose. Why put spaghetti in your nose, people say. Why, why, why? Here to demonstrate spaghetti nose, Susan. Um, it, it, uh, it's very painful. It feels really bad and I, like, my boogers aren't that much of a problem. Thank you. Thank you for that. You have ruined our <laughs> public image. We are not affiliated with Noodle Nose. Noodle Nose are a bunch of f***s. They took our ideas. Nose Spaghetti Nose. This month's at Grizzy Felson's Joke Hole. Zoobles! What's the deal with those airplane snacks? <laughs> He is a huge comic person. Hey, whoa! Whoa, what's the deal with knobs? I mean, wah, 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 wah. You ever try to buy oranges and all they have is uh, watermelons? <laughs> He's the funniest guy you've ever seen in his sitcom's a huge hit on the one channel you watch. Oh my God, that guy's jokes were fucking awful, but <laughs> his body made me laugh so hard. I'd go back. I don't think the comedian was very funny, but uh, I did really get a few laughs out of watching his body. I couldn't believe it. I went there as a skeptic. I left as a believer. Oh, my God. I came there. I grunted. I was angry-faced. But he got me. <laughs> you better be laughing at my jokes. I'm not an animal. I'm a flippy dimpy doo You can only see him this month at Grizzle's Hootin's Joke Hole. <laughs>